Good morning vlog, or should I say good afternoon? It is 12 20 in the afternoon, and today I'm going to take you through a get ready with me. Um, tonight is my best friend Catherine and I's 20th anniversary dinner. We're going to H&H &H, uh, Brazilian barbecue in LA and so I just finished showering because I just got home from the gym so I didn't want to stay sweaty all day but I'm gonna walk you through my steps and uh, first we're going to plug my eyebrows because they're a little bit you know there's a couple strays in there so while I was plucking I realized that I forgot to put on moisturizer after I showered and my skin like does, I do wash my face in the shower so I wanted to make sure that the moisture gets placed back in um, today I'll be using the oil-free moisturizer from Baxter California um, it has SPF of 15 and since I will be going back outside uh, you know dinner is gonna be at 530 a little bit early and the Sun will still be there so I want to make sure I have SPF to protect my skin so I don't get too many freckles or wrinkle lines so this as you can see I've almost finished it um, it's a great SPF it's oil free and unscented and it just is really great to give that um, protection for my skin plus I don't really wear face makeup I don't really I don't own like foundation um, conceal well, I have concealer but like other than that I don't really wear makeup generally at all so SPF is great to protect my skin also just gives me an extra layer of protection <laughs> So keep in mind, I normally like to blow dry my hair after I shower, but it is 91 degrees outside. It's a little too hot for that, so I'm going to let my hair air dry, and um, later on we'll style it. So I just finished plucking my brows. As you can see, it's a little red <laughs> from me plucking, um, but I just let my hair out of the tail. It's fairly dry, um, so I'm going to use this we i think is pronounced uh we hair care leave-in conditioner um i actually have two bottles of this it is so great um i just spray a little bit in my hair brush it through and i have no tangles like it detangles so quickly and it's just it just makes my hair so easy to do so i just clean my head over spray a little bit there spray a bit on the back side just brush my fingers through the product. I try to just let the little amounts that get on my hands go through the top of my head because I don't want my hair to get too greasy since it is a conditioner. And there we have it. Um, it is 91 degrees outside, so I'm gonna let my hair air dry. It's only one o'clock and I'll be back in about two hours uh, to get ready and curl my hair and get myself all dolled up. So I'll see you later. And two hours later, I'm back. My hair is mostly dry. I did make a trip to Ralph, so went outside for a little bit. Um, so it's so hot outside, and my plan originally was to have my hair down and do some like loose romantic curls. However, because of the heat, like I'm so sweaty already that I have a feeling that it's just not gonna turn out the way I want it to. So I'm going to do a, I think, medium to high ponytail and then curl the ends and follow along. So for today, I'm going to be using the Paul Mitchell Super Clean Spray. It's a finishing spray that also kind of helps hold up. I'll probably use another stronger hairspray to um, make it a sleek, clean look. But this spray, what I love about it is that a lot of hairspray will leave your hair crunchy and with this one you can brush right through it. It's just super smooth and it has a great hold. I 
mentioned that the super clean spray doesn't leave your hair crunchy this is a spray wax so this one actually will but I'm just going to use it for to really just sleek back these pieces that won't stay down with regular hairspray and then I'll continue to use that finishing um, spray for when I'm done with my curls so it'll help just hold the curls and keep them like loose and bouncy and not crunchy so I'm gonna do the spray wax for my bangs and all the side pieces and then we'll start curling A sleek back ponytail and now I'm gonna start curling so today we'll be using a t3 uh, micro curler so this is I believe one and a half inches um, it does have a clip, a clip and um, I know typically and this is not plugged in yet but I know typically people will say that you should curl from the top and then to the bottom but I only know how to curl once I clip from the end and then curl up and plus we're just going for some nice curls so don't judge but this is how I would do it and our curling iron is now hot enough so I'm going to loosely curled I know I didn't do the greatest job and just spray a little bit of finishing spray and do one last check up here and hair is done now to change into my clothes so this is the outfit I've decided to wear for tonight. So these shoes are from, I believe it's like an online store called Papaya. These are actually my dancing shoes. And then this dress is a polka dotted black dress from Forever 21. My necklaces are from Goryana, as well as my earrings and my bracelet. And yeah, so this is the final look. Um, I'm bringing a little cardigan in case it gets windy, but it is like 91 degrees outside. So I'll see you at the restaurant. finished eating it is so oh I'm so full um, but we had all you can eat Brazilian barbecue at this place called H&H &H here in LA I'll show you what it looks like right now